Oke, okay, uh, this our project we call it Yogyakarta Vertical Kampung. Uh, it's contain uh, member of us Su and then Fanya, Kiran and me <coughs> This is the first perspective for the situation. And then we got this issue, the Yogyakarta Urban Settlement. The current development is uh, to the urban area. And then uh, we got uh, many people and density and urban. And then uh, this is the <coughs> location in Indonesia, special province of Yogyakarta and then Yogyakarta city. Zero sub district and the uh, project site. And then this was the problem the slum development and the housing quality for the main focus that uh, we trying to solve it. And then is the potential of Jakarta as the cultural city, cultural city. Uh, it has many culture and then uh, have good social adjustment. So let's get wrong and then Kisah Bakti or Nongkrong, some uh, social gathering activity for the yacht, for the yacht. <coughs> and, and then Ratna. Okay, uh, and this is the uh, death of the special province of Yogyakarta. Uh, you can see the population density in 2020 is uh, among 1,200 people every meter. And uh, you can see uh, the type of the job uh, divided into three types. They are a uh, high uh, entrepreneur, family companies, and the middle laborers, employer, and the low agriculture or non-agriculture. Uh, the middle and the low uh, type of job uh, is dominant in the province of Yogyakarta City. Sorry. And the minimum, yes. I would like a short statement. Oh, yes. 1,280 people per square meter. That's yes. wrong. Yes. <laughs> yes, we mean per, per kilometer. Oh, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> kilometer. kilometer per Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, okay. And then <laughs> weights of uh, the era is the Yogyakarta is uh, two million in Indonesian dollar rupiah or one hundred and thirty euro, and then the cost living uh, among one hundred Indonesian dollar rupiah. Uh, based of the previous debt, half of the population in Yogyakarta province is low income and the middle income uh, among forty four percent. So it is not surprising that at the residential building rates uh, 40,000 building. Then uh, this is uh, uh, the job as urban designer to solve their problem by making a residential building design. Next. Okay, and then this is the grand concept. We got this the further urban settlement and got the problem slum settlement and housing quality and government give the solution for vertical housing in the kampung in the, yeah, that's called Rusunawa and it's got new problem like of diversity, not in the community and like of kampung spirit so we propose the vertical kampung concept to improve, to enhance the kampung character uh, it is social cohesive, flexible space and for a long middle society it uh, have a goal for a lot of diversity in there and then uh, empowerment and then good company spirit for the people. Okay, here we have the site analysis, uh, the location of the area uh, with the neighbor campings, uh, the accessibility uh, to site and opportunities around the site, like shopping and education facilities, praying place, uh, bus and train stations. Next. Okay, and then it is the site analysis for uh, the project site. It is uh, wall covered and then not in good condition in the river and then uh, not good, well managed in curbage 
management but the potential still have uh, good or many artistic cultural community and then the gardening community gardening in the uh, kampung surrounding in the surrounding kampung and then we uh, do the analysis analysis for the view seen is uh, covered by wall cannot be accessed cannot be accessed and then the sun setting the direction as uh, indonesian tropical climate and then this is the circulation uh, main road uh, i'm sorry uh, the north the road in the north uh, as uh, city street and then the north south the south one is the kampung street and then this is the vegetation there is angsana and then pucuk merah and ketapang topography itself and then noise noise analysis is high in the west because it's the city road city street and then the wind as tropical there are west monsoon and is that bring dry and rainy season and then this is the master plan concept we put the kampung street axis only two in the west and the south from the existing and then the north to connect the uh, road in the north and south and then we use kampung figure ground uh, square and uh, some are more larger and with l shape for enhance the people activity and then the uh, district or project site itself it's contain more it contain some art community or rukun tetangga in every block in every cluster and then the orientation uh, orientation access for the main door is in the uh, inside and then the outside to improve and the view the building view is to the outside to improve the uh, uh, urban settlement condition if they are on the floor second floor or third floor. and then this is the analysis concept for uh, lingkungan street and kampung street uh, as the uh, public space they can use as kondangan or wedding and then bazaar or temporary night market and then 17an or independent and then it's praying religion, religion ritual praying and then it's building separated so the fresh and sunlight can through uh, to the building in whole area and then we define the public space uh, can be a flexible space for community gathering in the center of uh, rt community and then commercial space community garden and playground or exercise area and then we got rukunan street or peaceful peaceful path in a uh, cluster to connect the housing or building every in every uh, mess in every block and then uh, the access is just for if they are uh, located in the center it can be accessed from the up from the right and left and then above to improve the privacy of uh, inhabitant and security and then it's maximum it's maximum maximum floor for the uh, building three maximal so it can be accessed by stair and then uh, its rt community has two to three stair for easy access and then at the floor also have the green space for people activity into social interaction and then it is the uh, building function uh, the in the ground floor uh, residential and then uh, residential plus informal economy and then public gathering space and then market shop in here this is for street vendor especially especially and then rumah baca langgar pesandu or public area parking area in the north and the south and then balai warga garbage house night guard live stockage and then co-working space in the west 
this is the uh, typology or the function because it is a uh, compound spirit. So we use uh, that for empower the community. And then right now. And this is uh, the master plan. Next. And this is uh, the type of vegetation uh, or tree in the around the uh, site and care some and see inside the site. Next. Next. Yeah, we, we try to be possible that uh, in our area they have their independent energy system water management. Uh, water management, we have it in two ways. Uh, one is uh, the uh, stormwater harvesting, the other wastewater. Uh, stormwater can be is filtered and it can be used for drinking and for do and wastewater is reused for courtyards or yeah, things, animals and things like that. Next. And then uh, we talked about uh, how, if we can produce our own electricity and we have our garbage house uh, from the organic uh, garbage is possible through generators to make uh, uh, energy sources and to replace, uh, replace fuels. And from the rest, uh, from uh, uh, unorganic waste, it's possible to be like in the garbage houses. It can be separated part, be so, so, uh, sold. Uh, they can sell it or they can uh, recycle it, depending on which material it, it is. Next. And this is uh, our courtyard concept. Uh, we put. A daily basic activity in the kampung activity we put them in the project concept we can we can do gardening uh, commercial exercise like that in every culture concept in the small site and this is the circulation concept we have the lingkungan street they are among six meter car, truck, bicycle, and motorcycle can enter the street and the kampung street, kampung street among four meter, just bicycle, uh, motorcycle, and for pedestrian wise. And the kerukunan street, uh, they are in the side, in the small, every small side, and just uh, pedestrian wise for the people. Next, and this is uh, the situation. Thanks. Okay, and then this is the public space in upper floor that uh, can use for flexible space, such as sitting, social space, drying space for clothing, and then other informal activity. It's missing connected by Rukuna Street or Peaceful Pathway. And then there are bench here for social interaction and it can use for social space too, since it's uh, two meter wide. <clears throat> and then it, uh, it uh, designed for siding, siding protection. <clears throat> I mean, sunlight protection and rain protection for uh, improve the quality of building. And then, this the, yes. Uh, this is the perspective of uh, the tree around, around the small site. And this is uh, the right picture is the situation uh, about the garden 
inside the small side. Next. Yeah, we decided for ourselves for two types of module. Uh, one is uh, apartment of 20, uh, 24 uh, square meters, and uh, second type is 49. Uh, uh, yeah, I think they can be like, the second is made out of the first one with a little bit of the replacement. Of, it's, those are the old PDFs, but okay. Next. Yeah, this is the ground floor. Uh, there's not much to say. You can go next. And this is the vegetation types inside the small size. Uh, they are a type of trees around the small side. And uh, inside the side, uh, we can find Corsei, uh, Lavender, Lantana, and Calatea in, in the garden yeah, in uh, inside the small the side. You can too. look the situation uh, by the picture before the slide. Next. And is this a uh, profession? Uh, and then section in the cluster. And then it's section B. Uh, there are clusters in the upper floor and then uh, can be protection below the uh, below the area and from sunlight and rain. And then it's not designed to straight, so it can be to interaction in the up and down one, and then uh, they can improve the social cohesiveness. And then this is the information for inhabitants that uh, can live in the area. Total, there are 1,650 1, people in there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh, Ikaputa, what do you think? Maybe Lady first. Ladies first, okay. Please. Now let's the uh, Okay, thank you. Uh, for group three, it's a good design. I will talk about the uh, mass arrangement. So the building arrangement. I think for, for the layout of the building uh, inside the cluster, I think it's very good. It's very dynamic and so on. But uh, how is the interaction between one section and another? So you can, we can see at the, uh, yeah, okay, at the plan. We can see in here there are how many sections divided by the, by the LA. One, two, three, four, five, around six or nine. <laughs> yes, um, six, yes, six. Six or nine. Okay, I think the design inside each section is really uh, dynamic, but uh, between one section and another section, I think the the situation probably it's not draw, uh, it's not describe how the physical design of a kampung because. It's more like an alley, and then in the in the left and in the right is a buildings that very um, uh, what we call uh, the facade is really uh, the facade is 
uh, just beside the LA without without um, spontaneous spaces or uh, we can say informal spaces. I think uh, that's the what we have to uh, understand. How is the the um, connection between a building and also LA and also open space in the kampong? In each section, it's already good the design, but between the section, I think we have to uh, maybe look up again. I think that for the group three. Okay, thank you, Naris. Thank you. Group seven, actually. Group seven. <laughs> but thank you, Naris. Okay, group seven. Okay, sorry. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And Dia, what do you think? What is your comment to the project? Uh, okay, uh, for group seven. Uh, I think the concept of uh, vertical kampung here is uh, very well applied to the design uh, with uh, the connectivity that flows on its uh, layers of floors. And also uh, it can be identified in the presence of communal space that are, only, that, that are not only on, uh, located on ground floor is good. Uh, overall, uh, the composition of the buildings and housing units that adapting uh, that try to adapting uh, character of kampung, in my opinion, is uh, quite uh, interesting, uh, and uh, I think it's uh, completed well. Okay, that's uh, my comment. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tia. Thank you, Gudia. And now is you are hearing what's, what Ikaputa is going to say. Ikaputa, what do you mean? Oh, okay. What do you think? No, 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 no. I, I haven't. I have uh, not yet uh, speaking. So um, yeah, my my comment is uh, this is a, a kind of modernizing the kampung from more organic to semi-organic. So there is a pattern, there is a grid, but within the block, uh, it's, it's developed uh, with the uh, new morphology of kampung, which still organized, but uh, organic, but, but using the vertical one. Uh, what uh, I'm trying to see is maybe the connection between this pattern between this the uh, grid uh, uh, model uh, uh, form of the district connected to the surrounding, especially kampung. I saw that some of a uh, line or the street or LA is connected, but maybe it can be more uh, clarified or define it more clear to the surrounding kampung so that they can have a a new form of kampung, but still have a culturally embedded with the kampung, but have a connection with the real kampung surrounding. That is my my comment. Thank you. Thank you. 